still on matters ecclesiastical of sorts. It's been an exciting Easter for scientists following reports that the elusive God particle has been found. Correctly known as the Higgs boson particle, it's considered to be the holy grail by physicists working on the world's most powerful atom experiment at the CERN lab in Switzerland. For almost three years, this tunnel, the Large Hadron Collider, has been smashing particles together at great speed in an attempt to recreate conditions when the universe began. If it has really been found, the Higgs boson particle could help provide a grand theory on our entire physical environment. The speculation is based on a leaked internal memo said to be from physicists working on the project. While some are dismissing the note as a hoax, others say it could be a huge scientific breakthrough. Well, with me now is John Butterworth, Professor of Physics at University College London and head of the British team at the CERN laboratory working on the experiments to find the Higgs boson. First of all, what is it? <laughs> it's, um, if, if it's there, it's, it's the missing piece in our understanding at the moment of the fundamental laws of nature. So if it exists, if it's right, then it's the thing that it's a field that fills the universe and gives all particles mass. So it's a... Right, OK, so it would explain <laughs> our physical... Uh, yeah, it would tell us why world. electrons behave like they do, why protons behave like they do, all that kind of stuff. Um, why, why are these rumours abound that it has been found? Well, Do you know if it has been found? Well, the, the thing is, we're, this experiment that you mentioned in, in Geneva is now giving us the first look at physics in an energy regime where we really don't know what's going on, OK? We really don't know what the fundamental laws of nature are like at these energies and this scale. So every time someone out there makes, uh, gets some data and makes a distribution and looks at it, they could be seeing some... They are seeing something no one's ever seen before, and people get very excited. Now, what's happened here is... Um, a bunch of people have spent four nights without sleep and have made some plots and got rather overexcited, sent an in internal note around the collaboration, which is fine. Everyone's excited out there, but unfortunately it's leaked out. Now, I, I, it's a very exciting place at the moment, and if we got this excited about every single thing, no one would get any sleep So either. this sort of thing's happened before, has it? Oh, you thought this, you found it? When, when you're doing science, when you're looking at stuff that you, you've never seen before, the first thing a good scientist does is try and persuade themselves why it's wrong. And it's only when you've proved, ruled out all the impossible things that you're left with new physics. But if they have found it, what does it mean? Well, it would be, be an amazing breakthrough. It's, it's, it's why we're doing this stuff. So it, does it, it mean God doesn't exist? No. That God didn't create the universe because you worked out how, it, how no. the universe has mass? No, it has nothing to do with that. God can relax. The CERN, <laughs> the, the CERN machine isn't going to do anything to tell us about God. But what it is going to do is tell us about this wonderful universe we live in, whether you think God made it or not. And what we're doing, this is... This is human curiosity at its finest, really trying to work out why we live, what's going on, what fundamentally makes the place we live work. If you want to put a religious creator behind that, that's your business, but we're just telling you what he did in that case. And the God particle name is, is entirely misleading, then. It's called the God particle, <laughs> what, because well, it, I, it is so important as a yeah, piece of physics? Yeah, at, at some level, yeah. It's, um, it was invented by a physicist, I'm ashamed to say. But, um, but it, yes, because the media's often blamed for it, but actually it's a yeah, scientific Yeah, no, it was, it was yeah. uh, Leon Lederman, his fault. Um, but, but um, I mean, there are some analogies in that it's a, it, it is an all-pervasive field that fills the whole of the universe. There's no experimental evidence for it yet. Um, and it really, you need it to make sense of the physical laws we have. So you can maybe see an analogy there, but that's all there is, an analogy. So if they found it, is the Large Hadron Collider redundant now? I no, mean... no, because um, the, the thing is we're doing physics in the regime where this particle plays its role. So finding it, first of all, finding something is only the start of it. You have to prove that it is this Higgs boson. Um, but also, if it's there, or even if it's not there, we're, we're doing, there, there could be all kinds of other stuff. There are supersymmetry or extra dimensions. We've really got to explore. The, the way I look at it is this experiment has given us access to a whole new landscape of physics, and we just want to explore the whole thing. This is one of the things we're looking for in the landscape. John Busworth, many thanks for coming in. Finally, today's football results. In the Premier League, Bolton beat Arsenal 2-1, leaving Arsenal nine points behind Manchester United, with just four games left to play. In Scotland, as we saw earlier, Celtic now one point behind Rangers with a game in hand after that goalless draw. In today's other match, Hibs and St Mirren drew one all. That's it. We're back tomorrow at 7. Until then, that's Channel 4 News. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. <laughs>